The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Do you know that Rabbi Lau, the great chief rabbi, Ashkenaz chief rabbi in Israel, to me he was one of the greatest speakers I've ever heard speak. He was such a powerful speaker, such an eloquent speaker, Rabbi Lau. Rabbi Lau writes in his biography, he was very close friends with Yitzhak Rabin. And it turns out that Rabbi Lau, being the chief rabbi of Israel, one time he went to visit Fidel Castro in Cuba. Who would ever think? But nonetheless, he writes that he had a four or five hour discussion with Fidel Castro. And at the end of the discussion, Fidel Castro loved the rabbi immensely. He saw somebody with such tochen, with such depth and such knowledge. And Rabbi Lau was so sweet, loving. He says, Rabbi, I want you to do me a favor. He gives him a pack of very expensive Cuban cigars. I'd like you to deliver, deliver this to my friend Yitzhak Rabin when you get back to Israel. Rabbi Lau says, I'll be my, be my pleasure. He brings the cigars back to Israel. And he comes to Yitzhak Rabin and he tells him, I have a present for you for Fidel Castro. And he says, really? He says, what is it? He shows him the Cuban cigars. Rabin says, I only smoke cigarettes. You know, I don't know if you know the old-time Israelis. (laughs) Boy, did they know how to lig. But Cuban cigars, no. While they were talking, it came up that the Israeli government was in negotiation at that time with the Palestinians, at that time with Arafat. They were coming out with a final resolution of what they were going to do with the green line of Jerusalem. And do you know where the deal was about to be shook on? They were about to give back Kever Rachel. Rabbi Lau turns to Yitzhak Rabin and says, What? Kever Rachel? You're going to give them Kever Rachel? Kever Rachel is going to look like Kever Yosef HaTzadik in Shechem today? No way. You can't. So Rabin says, no, 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 Rabbi, don't worry. Now you have to remember, Yitzhak Rabin was ultra, ultra secular, secular Jew. He wasn't religious at all to him. Kever Rachel, yes or no, made no difference. He said, Rabbi, listen, I understand you aren't going to be happy about this. But don't worry. Although they're going to control the road, and they're going to control the area, and they're going to control Derech Bet Lechem, but we're going to have rights to come visit it every now and then. Shema Yisrael, you hear this? The Arabs are going to give us rights to come visit our own mother. You hear this? And they were, they were ready to sign on this deal. Rabbi, Rabbi Lau turns to Yitzhak Rabin and he tells him, Yitzhak, you cannot do this. He says, you want to know why? You cannot abandon your mother. Nobody abandons their mother. And Rabin was quiet. The next week, Yitzhak Rabin gives a call over to Rabbi Lau. And he says, Rabbi, I have good news. I want to tell you. I stood up by the meeting with Arafat and the PLO. And I took back Kever Rachel and Derech Bet Lechem. And I told him, no deal. And we were about to sign, no deal. You know Why? Because your words really hit me hard. You cannot abandon your mother. You don't abandon your mother. This is your mother. This is who you turn to for chizuk. This is who you turn to for a charge. This is why Yaakov Avinu buried her at the side of the road. A Jew without those recharges in Galut. We're finished. How do we go on? How do we survive? We have a shul that we come into so we can hear shiurim and inspiration and stories and ma'asim. And we grow. And we get the charge for the week. We have Eretz Yisrael to go to. We come back on a high. We have Kevin Rachel to come to. And we remember a mother that cried about us. And Borei Olam heard her voice over everybody else. We have to really appreciate these places. You don't abandon these places. You don't abandon your mother. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend.
storiestoinspire.org.